we will discuss about nucleic acid hybridization. Suppose we have isolated genomic DNA from bacteria and we know that this DNA contain thousands of genes or DNA sequences encoding various proteins in bacteria. Now we want to find out the presence of specific DNA sequences in this bacterial genome or in other words we are searching for a gene or DNA sequence of interest whose nucleotide composition is already known to us. But we want to find out whether the sequence is present in bacteria or not. So let's say this red region in this DNA is representing the target sequence and the nucleotide sequence of this DNA is in 5 prime to 3 prime direction. Now the problem is we have to solve here is how we can detect and confirm the presence of this target sequence in the total bacterial genome. So the answer is southern blotting. But before we going into the discussion of southern blotting, it is important to understand the first three concepts. So the first is nucleic acid hybridization and probes and blotting. So let's study them one by one. So first we study nucleic acid hybridization. We have already studied that denaturation and renaturation of DNA. If we heat the DNA at the high temperature, this double-stranded DNA molecule converted into single-stranded DNA molecule and the process here is known as denaturation of DNA. So now if the single-stranded DNA is incubated under some appropriate condition then they will convert or renature to form a double-stranded DNA molecule. Now two single-stranded DNA molecules having complementary base pairing they form a double-stranded DNA hybrid and this process is known as nucleic acid hybridization. So when two single-stranded molecules of complementary base sequences form a double-stranded hybrid, this process is known as nucleic acid hybridization. And nucleic acid hybridization can take place between single-stranded DNA to DNA and single-stranded RNA molecules and it can also take place between single-stranded DNA and single-stranded RNA molecule. But keep in mind that nucleic acid hybridization, the participating population of nucleic acid should be single-stranded. The hybrid form as a result of nucleic acid hybridization, they can be stable or they can be unstable depending on the extent to which complementary base pairing take place between the two strands. So if there is a high degree of complementary base pairing between the two strands, the hybrid form is stable and the most familiar application of nucleic acid hybridization you have come across on this channel is PCR and in situ hybridization and DNA microarray. In PCR hybridization, the two primers and template DNA provide the specificity to PCR amplification. So, in molecular biology, the nucleic acid hybridization is mostly used for the detection of a specific DNA sequences in a mixture of DNA fragment or total cell DNA. But for this we also need probes. So what probe is? A probe can be defined as a labeled molecule that binds specifically 
to the molecule of interest. So here, the molecule of interest is the target DNA or RNA sequences, and the labeled molecule help in the detection process. Suppose we want to detect this DNA sequence, so we will obtain a complementary DNA sequence. So here we obtain a complementary target sequence by chemical synthesis and we will label this complementary DNA strand and now the label can be a radioactive probe and fluorescent tag or it can be any enzyme. So when this label probe is added to the sample containing the target sequence, it will bind to it because of the complementary base pairing and once it bound we can detect the probe by visualizing or detecting the label. If probe is radio labeled it is detected by autoradiography and if the probe is a fluorescent tag then it is detected by the fluorescence and if the probe is labeled with an enzyme we can detect it by color or light forming reaction catalyzed by the enzyme. So I hope you have now got a clear idea of nucleic acid hybridization and probe. But nucleic acid hybridization requires two main things. First the target nucleic acid and the probe should be single stranded. In other words, the Two population of nucleic acid should be single stranded and therefore the DNA is first denatured to make single stranded DNA molecule and the second requirement is gel electrophoresis. In molecular biology, a particular DNA or RNA sequence is first detected on the gel. But again the detection is not only carried out on gel, we transfer it to another solid spot medium that is the nylon membrane. So it's all about nucleic acid hybridization and probe.